Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today I would like to talk about the very popular plugin in QGIS which is the LAT LAN tools and today we would like to check it what does this plugin do and you see if you come to the plug in QGIS website and the plugin and here the popular uh, for example, popular plugin is written also the LAT LAN tools is uh, somehow one, two, three, four, five, six uh, place in this way and which is a really popular plugin in QGIS and we would like to see what we can do with that and as you see make it easy to capture zoom to the coordinates and here man, we have some kind of you know more details and version and we can also download the latest one so let's go to the QGIS and check it in the practical form as you see, this is our QGIS uh, file, and which is just the OpenStreetMap. And as we are based in the Stuttgart, Germany, this is the OpenStreetMap in the Stuttgart, and this is the main traces, train station. And if I come to the plugin and manage and install the plugins, as uh, it will be opened. And here, this is all, and we can. I already installed this plugin, and if we just uh, look to the LAN. LAT and LAN tools is already installed, but when you would like to upgrade or uninstall the plugin, you can just do it. For the installation, it's completely easy. Just install the plugin and it will be installed in this way. And by finishing that one, you have the possibility to open the plugins uh, functionality from here or even in, into your toolbars will be added here. Uh, it can be also added uh, to your toolbars here. So let's start what we can do. Uh, as you see, I already created one uh, point uh, information as a layer, and if I just open the attribute table, you see ID, city, and location, and let's see what we can do. So we can start, for example, uh, here, if I just, here you see we have the icons, for example, copy display coordinate showing the external map and some others, copy canvas extend, coordinate conversion, and here LAT LAN digitize. This is a very important one. And I would like to work with this. So, but right now it's off and I would like, uh, before that, you know, it must be, you know, the toggle editing will be um, activated. And after that, you have this chance to add LAT and LAN, uh, the digitize will be uh, activated. And if I just click, and here you can also add the coordinates here and you can take some some coordinates from for example Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof Stuttgart main station or Stuttgart library added here and just you know add feature it will be added to your uh, attribute uh, table so let's do some 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 kind of you know trip in this way and we would like to have it uh, if I just go here if copy and display uh, coordinate and if I just go here and just uh, clicking here you know the coordinate from the uh, Stuttgart uh, main station uh, has been copied and uh, I would like to have it into the uh, when, when I go here uh, again and just add the feature and if I just copy paste this one here at the feature, it will be added. I can consider the ID, city, you can just add it Stuttgart in this way, and the location, you can also copy paste the latitude and longitude here, and at the feature, it will be added the point here. And if I just open my attribute table, it's also added here, location, city, and the point is already added. And we can just do the same, for example, again, going here, uh, Stuttgart library, which is a very important in the Europe. If I just click here, you see LAT LAN coordinate cop uh, copied into the clipboard. And if I just go again to here and just copy, paste, add feature again to Stuttgart and the location will be copied here. It will be added to also here. And if I just see the show feature count, we have two. If I just stop the editing here, it's already added and maybe a little work uh, into the symbology, make it a little bigger, for example, make it 10. It will be clear for us. It will be added these two uh, points with the uh, specific coordinates. Another great option of this uh, plugin is that if we come here, uh, as you see here, we have the possibility to zoom uh, to zoom to the one uh, point, and with this one, we have possibility to multiple uh, 
points and if you see here uh, I already created you know some maybe we can just uh, delete those or uh, yes we are sure and after that multi location zoom as I said you know with this one we have the possibility to capture coordinate by clicking on the map so let's see for example we would like to have some extra points and for example if we consider here it will be added yeah, as you see the latitude and longitude will be added and we have also possibility to to write it down the label and here for example here four five six is enough and here we can just save the uh, location list or delete and we have create the vector lies from the location list which is a really great option so it means with the, some clicks we, we can have you know uh, some kind of you know new vector line and by clicking this one and if i just close this you know here lat line uh, location and you see the show feature count six as I said already and if I just make this one off and this one off you see this six location has been added and if I just open the attribute table you see the latitude longitude and you can, we can have the also the label and if I just change the label in symbol in this way for example just considering like this 10 and it will be clear for us it is a really great uh, option and it will be really helpful for many project for the city planning and if uh, someone is not that kind of good also in the GIS but they would like to create you know some some uh, you know accurate point into the map with the uh, uh, lat uh, with the QJS and with the latlan uh, tool plugin in the QJS another great option is that here if you see show in the external map what does it mean for example here if i just come to the, to the lat line tool setting here external map we can define for example uh, on which uh, platform external platform will be clear here for example google earth for example i have already in my pc and it will be for example the result will be uh, visualized into the google earth but if you don't have you can use it the osm google map or some other uh, you know uh, map provider and if I just OK and just clicking here and just going, for example, we would like to have the Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof, this one, into the Google Earth engine. If I just click, you see Google Earth. And here it will be added into here QJ's location. And you see this is exactly the uh, Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof which is the main train station and if I just a little zoom out you see this is the exactly the Stuttgart uh, map here so and we have also the possibility to, to have it in the OSM or OpenStreetMap which is a really great option in this way and to have you know some kind of you know other overviews we have other possibility also you know here copy canvas extend copy selected area extend copy layer extend copy selected feature extend it can be really helpful for us and also we have another possibility here coordinate conversion and for example if you would like to have uh, from the wgs 84 to some some other uh, projection system for example this is the projection system for the germany and for example uh, is, is for the west of the germany and if you would like for the east it will be changed to the uh, 33 for example and we can uh, just do the conversion with this plugin which is a really helpful for many projects that we would like to you know to have uh, some kind of you know uh, projection in this way yeah i hope you enjoy from this video and if you have any question or if you have some remark and suggestion regarding to this plugin please write it down in the comment section and we will be happy to answer or to get some kind of you know comments or suggestion from your site thank you very much and see you soon